the apartment was, I mean, it's widely considered one of the greatest movies ever. People sometimes refer to it as a comedy, which is an interesting kind of classification. I suppose that's a lesson about comedy, that the best, uh, the best comedy is the one that's basically a tragedy. Well, I mean, like some people think Clockwork Orange is a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying yeah. there aren't some good laughs in Clockwork yeah. Orange, but yeah, you know. it's. I mean, yeah. Is, is, what, what's that line between uh, comedy and tragedy for you? I, well, if, if it's a line, it's a line I cross all the time because I've tried always to find the humor. Um, Unexpected sometimes, uh, maybe inappropriate sometimes, maybe shocking. But I've tried in, I think, almost every dramatic role I've had to have a sense of humor and to be able to bring that uh, along with everything else that is serious. Because frankly, that's how we deal with stuff in life, you know? I think uh, Sam Mendes actually said in the Now documentary something like, with great theater, with, with great stories, you find humor on the journey to the heart of darkness. Something like this. <laughs> very poetic. Yeah. Stood out to me. yeah but I can't, it's true. I'm sorry, I can't be that poetic. I was, <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, I've, the, the, the people I've interacted in this world have been to a war zone and the ones who have lost the most and have suffered the most are, are usually the ones who are able to uh, make jokes the quickest. Mm -hmm. And the jokes are often dark and absurd and cross every single line, no political correctness, all of that. Sure. Well, I mean, you know, it's like uh, the great Mary Tyler Moore show where they can't stop giggling at, at the clown's funeral. I mean, it's it's just one of the great episodes ever. You know, giggling at a funeral is as bad as farting at a funeral. Yeah. And, you know, I'm I'm sure that there's some people who've done both. 